Hey, it's Pania. I'm going to show you how to make a herringbone crochet bracelet. I have these embroidery thread from DMC. The darker color is a number 414. We will be using this hook B.2.25 millimeter. You'll need a yarn needle and a scissor. I actually quite enjoy this embroidery thread. Um, it's quite sturdy, good enough for you to be wearing it around and it doesn't really get any pilling from. The only hard thing is that we will need to unwind this um, thread here because we're going to want to put two together. So once you get two together, uh, get a, one of those ends and create a slip knot and we'll insert your hook into the slip knot. From here chain one, two, three, and then we'll continue chaining all the way to chain number 45. Depending on how long you want your bracelet to be, you can increase the number of chains or decrease it for a different length. For my wrist here, 45 is just perfect. For your first row here, we're gonna skip this chain and go into the second chain and create a single crochet. And then from here, we'll insert the hook into that loop closest to that first stitch. We'll go from under that loop and then insert the hook into the next chain. Yarn over, pull the yarn through. You have three loops and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. And this is your hair and bone stitch. We'll continue to do that. We'll insert the hook into the third loop from your hook. So it's one, two, and three. So this is the one you will insert your hook. And then also under the next loop, yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over. And pull through all three and we'll continue making this herringbone stitch all the way to the end And here we are at our last stitch with the herringbone. Remember to go into the last loop here and then insert your hook into the last chain, yarn over, pull through, and you have three loops, yarn over, and pull through under all three loops for your last herringbone stitch. For row two, you'll turn your work around From here, we're gonna work into the back. You'll want to do a chain one, and then insert your hook under that first stitch from below, yarn over, and pull it through. Yarn over and pull through both of the loops. And here is your single crochet at the beginning of the row. Continue to work um, from the back. We'll continue to make the hair and bone stitch from here. And as you can see, this is the first single crochet. There's a loop right under there. And that is the loop you'll insert first. And then go from the back into the next stitch under both of these two loops. Yarn over and pull it three. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull under through all the three loops. We'll continue doing the same thing. Insert your hook into the farthest loop from your hook and then insert under the next two stitches. Sorry about this, it's a little bit blurry, but insert it under those two loops as well. Yarn over and you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull it through all three loops. Again, we will um, insert the hook into the very farthest loop and insert it under the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops and continue making that seam stitch all the way to the end of this row.
and here we're at the end we have just a couple more stitches to make you'll insert the hook into the farthest loop from your hook and then insert it under the next two next stitch under those two loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through all three loops and continue doing that for the very last stitch as well and then chain one turn your work for this part here chain one and then when I turn tug on to the yarn just a little bit so that the chain is actually a little bit bigger and we'll yarn over and pull it through and then make a regular chain here yarn over pull through for the next one we'll make the change a little bit longer as well so just make maybe like half a centimeter or about a centimeter and then chain one and slip stitch into the bottom of that first row so yarn over slip stitch and then cut your yarn here and yarn over and pull through the yarn um, to secure the loop there at the end and you have your bracelet here now what i'm going to show you how to do is um, we'll create kind of like um, that area where you can tie your bracelet to the other end the other loop on the other side so from here I'm just measuring about 12 inches of the yarn and then, then cut it and actually fold it into two times so once you um, actually cut the end over here you'll have about like three inches um, from the center then you'll want to a yarn needle and insert the end through into the yarn needle so that you can attach this part to um, the bracelet so if you look here you can s actually flip it over if you look here this is the front of the bracelet you can see that there's these V stitch in the middle and um, if you turn it this way you can see there's some V stitches I'm gonna insert the needle from under right into the center there and i'm going to tug on one of the side here so i can let loose um, one of the end and then insert the needle back into the top there so we can create a loop at the front i'm just going to pull and tug on the circle here so that our ends are kind of on the equal length and then once you have that then you can loop um you could uh pull the bottom part of the yarn the thread here through the hole and secure your um, thread here at this end I'm just gonna snip the end here so that we have no loops and this is the front if you flip it over this is the back now I'm gonna show you how I am finishing up the um, tassel looking piece here uh, there are a total of eight thread here i'm gonna just split it and have it into four and create kind of like a french braid for uh four of these so just grabbing the farthest thread from the outer part and bring it in uh one at a time so that you can create sort of like a braid for this piece and once you reach the end, leave about maybe one inch so that you can tie the very uh, two edge thread to secure this part of your braid. So just create a knot and then pulling through um, those two thread to secure this area and here I'm gonna go to the other fourth thread and do the same thing that I just did If you like the end here long you can leave it long I'm just gonna snip off a little bit so that it's a little bit neater and shorter and, and you can even go shorter if you'd like to um, now I'm just going to the loose ends on the crochet bracelet and I'm just gonna sew in the loose ends to secure it so uh, what I usually do is turn the project 
into the wrong side and work on securing that loose end into the back here as you can see usually i like to do a double knot at the end here so that it doesn't come loose and just snip off the excess um, thread and do the same thing to the other side here as well And here is your herringbone stitch crochet bracelet. From here, I'm just going to demonstrate how you would put this bracelet on. So you'll flip over the bracelet on the wrong side and grab the two ends you, you um, braided and insert one of those end through the loops. And then you have two loops here and you'll just kind of like uh, create a knob. So put it into an X and then pull one through into the loop. Now it's you got a knot here that's quite loose and hold on to the knot with one of your thumb and while you insert your hand going in through the bracelet. From here you can use your index finger or your ring finger to hold one of the strand and pull on the other strand with your hand here to secure your bracelet. So here is the complete finished modern um, hair and bone stitch crochet bracelet. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more videos.